Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. You gotta say hi to the big fella, Big Joe. Hey, big boy. Guys, I'm so excited about what we're gonna show you today. We're gonna take the Big Joe herd, kind of a treat, something they love, and no, it's not cubes. It's something a little bit different. We're gonna use the Hydra bed for that. Speaking of Hydra bed, I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. And also, guys, something happened yesterday evening brooks had a cousin over last night we drove out in the pasture surprised the heck out of us really this season it shouldn't be happening can't wait to show you guys what we found in the pasture yesterday evening make that look easy i'm not gonna lie i guess i'm just a wimp suckers are heavy it's like well, it says it right there. Net weight, 225 pounds. Just a lug you have to try to pick up and move around. Watch it. Oh. You're gonna damage the pecan tree in the... Well, that didn't work. Was off centered, wasn't it? Shucks. Take two. I think you got it this time. Maybe not. Did they change the shape or the size of their Sweet Pro tubs? <laughs> it's just a jewel of dusty. Thought maybe you bought a defective hauler, Majig. No, I have. Oh, the lo lowering of the arms is critical in picking up the tubs. I see it, yeah. Okay, all right, there we go. Oh, not the pecans. Just snapping, that, that was definitely a fruit bearing limb. So is that. Can't even see the, can't even see the guy. All right, well, are we taking these straight to the field? Okay. Might as well just keep her hanging. I wouldn't I wouldn't untighten the shenanigans, would you? Well I have to go through multiple gates. Yeah. Well we tear them down, we tear them down, right? Famous last words. Never goes as planned. Hey guys, we got you something. Hope you're ready. Big Joe! Where are you? Whoa! About smacked the door on that. Pulling away while half my body was out of the vehicle. Let's go. Okay. Sorry. Buy some home. Well. She, she looks like she's making a beeline for that gate we just left open. Hey guys. Mostly just hanging out. I got hot. You're looking spicy as ever. Here you go. Thank you. Hand off. Here, let me get something for you, big boy. We shouldn't have to get back there, right? No. I just can't see. Yeah. Somebody's in my way. Well, I guess this is good, good uh, safety content with the Hydra Red because I uh, just did all that and didn't really have to get out of the vehicle, but Big Joe will be happy. All with the remote right here. But I like to rip off the uh, cardboard off of it. Big Joe's going to go after it, though. Maybe. Let's see if I open my door
Well, there's that. I got the cardboard off, and here comes Peaches. Oh. And Big Joe. Kit, Big Joe? Who, oh, baby? This is Big Brenda right now. He is flashy. What number is here? They both are flapping. She looks wide like a... Well, let's go put this other one out. This one right here, 1508 South Dakota heifer. Um, she is about to pop. I can see her uh, bag has dropped some, and uh, she's getting ready to have a calf. And she's hanging out with Eleanor. Hey, Eleanor. Well, I couldn't get it to pick up exactly the right way. You can see me struggling a little bit. And then my remote died, which didn't make it any easier. So even though the remote died, having the remote, as you can tell, in this situation was so important because you've got to be outside the truck to watch as you try to put the tub lifter back on, attach it, and then lift it up and try to set it down. I was struggling a little bit. Um, and then the remote died, but I've got a charger for it. Your Hydra 6 remote comes with a charger, don't worry. I just failed to charge it. Well, we got it down finally. I did it manually. I could have done it in the cab, but been a little bit harder without that remote. Remote makes a big difference. Look at that crack in the ground, how dry it is. Jeez, 13. Give me a break. Let me get this out for you and you can have it. I will say in some cases, if we can't get our truck with the hydro bed out in some of our pastures because we have too much rain. Well, that's not the case right now, but back in the spring when Marissa and I were trying to get some of these tubs to the bison that were in the back, we can't get access to them sometimes because of a creek crossing that we can't get the truck through. So in some cases, we've got to use the hydro bed to lift the tub up and we actually set it in the ATV and we strap it down and we can drive the ATV exactly where we want it and take the tubs to the bison. Having the hydro bed makes it way easy so you don't have to pick up this thing yourself or get the skid steer out. You can pick it up right there with the bell arms, load that sucker up and take it to where you want it. All right guys, I need your help here. I know my brother-in-law from Armstrong and Homestead has been uh, doing a big pond renovation. I love falling. Bama Bass, Steven's got an awesome channel and what he's done with his pond that he built, a lot of cool stuff. So and I know Daniel's got a huge project going and uh, he's diving in that and been after it for a couple weeks now. But we've had this problem. It gets bone dry here in August, September, and pretty much most of the month of July. Um, it rained actually a little bit this morning, I think a quarter of an inch. Uh, that's the first rain we've had here on this side of town in two months. So completely dry. But one thing is, is this pond always, always goes dry. Every year that we've 
had the ponderosa that this has gone dry so since 2021 about the end of every summer which is about now september it goes dry so it's got some drainage down here this is actually the burn unit is what we call it. it's a 80 acres in the back side of our property we only graze twice a year we're under a big regenerative project back here with prescribed burning um but what i noticed a while ago is there's a big common looks like a common uh snapping turtle is right over here big guy and we just recently uh you know had a gentleman that uh wanted to trap some turtles come out and trapped a huge snapping turtle a huge 22 pounds the largest i've personally ever seen and it's his second largest that he's ever trapped so we've obviously got some monster snapping turtles and i just saw this guy and i'm pretty sure he's the only thing in there and he was a big fella Saw him creeping around. Literally, he may be the only living thing in there besides maybe some minnows, uh, some small perch, if that, if the coons hadn't got it or the birds hadn't got it. And I see a lot of baby frogs. So need some help, guys. What do we do with the pond? Do we make it bigger? We don't want to eat up a lot of grazing land at all. We don't, we don't want to do that. But it'd be nice for the bison to have some drinking water. And you can make a bison pond, essentially. Lay a lower spot like this, gravel it, and actually build a fence around it or a hot wire around it and where the animals can still come down and not necessarily get in the water, bathe in it because they poop and pee in it. And times like this where it gets really dense, we don't, you may have the bison, you don't want them drinking that stuff. So, you know, what do we do? You know, you could, you know, Greg Judy does a great job of this and I've watched him and he has like a platform area where they can come down on some gravel and get fresh water and i think the best fresh water you can get is about 16 inches below the surface uh according to some stuff i've learned so guys let us know about our pond here and what we could do i see mr snapping turtle he's got his head out down here but if you leave this it's going to go dry and he needs water so i'm i'm assuming he'll find another pond we've got a couple others that maybe he'll find or you know i don't really want to go in there and get after him because i can i've seen what these guys can do and they have a massive tough tough job so guys you let us know what you think here on this little pond that only fills up basically in the springtime when it rains a lot so thank you That's so exciting. And I know a lot of you are probably going, isn't red dog season, you know, like uh, late spring, early summer? Yes, you are correct. This is uh, abnormal. This, uh, it happens in the bison world. Sometimes some of the females, like in a big herd like that, the big Joe herd, sometimes they come in heat lake. And if you still have the bulls with them, they can get pregnant. So the good thing is, is we got a baby. We got a healthy baby. 
mom is completely fine and i guess you could say it's better than her not having a calf in general which would be not good so even though she's four months late uh behind the rest of them we still love it we still appreciate her having a calf and everything went fine before i think qualpaw last year um, or this year in the beginning of 2024 actually had a calf in january <laughs> kind of crazy but it happens in nature but i eventually finally got that tub down and uh, got it out for those bison they love those protein tubs and that's just a supplement tub that helps them kind of get through hard times essentially whenever we're going into the dormant season on our grasses on our native grasses they can get a little bit more protein and pick up from those tubs um, and they and they love them that's the most important part i've mentioned a lot of great things about the hydra bed but you know as a family guy it's so important to you know hold your car seats when you're switching cars <laughs> with your wife and uh, sometimes the car seat comes out and sits on the flatbed so it's good for a lot of things guys and if there is one animal that you want to test a piece of equipment like this hydra bed and the arms the american bison is a perfect animal to test the strength and durability of one of your tools or one of your equipment if big joe can go and beat the tar out of a hay bale and completely bust it why it's suspending on the ground with these arm beds i'd say it's pretty tough to me hydra bed is bison tough i want to thank hydra bed for sponsoring today's video call the number right here 1-800-530-5624 or check them out at hydrabeds.com go to their website and see the closest dealer near you thank you guys for bison ranching with us we'll see you guys soon